to Adams County for you tonight. The county there has now received the second round from the American Rescue Plan, those funds from the federal government. And tonight we're learning more about how the county plans to use those funds. Our Olivia Young is live tonight in Adams County. Olivia, this is a huge investment. We're talking about $50 million, which is going to go towards some very important projects. Yeah, Michael, it's a big chunk of change. And the first round of American Rescue Plan funds, the county used those to address some immediate needs. They gave that money to partners and nonprofits. But this time around, they want to use it for long term investment and changes related to mental health and housing. It's the sad reality for too many Adams County residents trouble finding and keeping housing. Can I pay my rent today? Do I have to choose between? Um, paying my bills or, you know, going out and purchasing food. An estimated 4,500 people are homeless in Adams County. That's why the county is using the second round of American Rescue Plan funds to tackle the issue. It's exciting for us to have the opportunity, kind of a once in a lifetime opportunity, to really lean in on the issues that are impacting our community. Housing, homelessness, mental health, and public safety are all the things that we're hearing the most about from our constituents. Nearly 30 million will go to housing development, including tiny home villages, domestic violence respite housing, and the $7 million purchase of nearly six acres in Brighton, where the city plans to build an affordable housing development. We knew that we could apply the funds specifically to acquiring land, meet the deadlines while still supporting that larger goal. The county is investing nearly 10 million in mental and behavioral health, including early childhood prevention, wraparound services, and homeless outreach. We do have a lot of uh, people experiencing homelessness who are now not able to access mental and behavioral health services. Outreach staff have increased from three to 24 people in the past few years. More friends, not law enforcement. The remaining $10 million will go to funding the county's new health department. So a big piece of that funding is going to domestic violence prevention because the number one reason that people become homeless in Adams County is actually domestic violence. So some of those funds going to respite housing. They're also working with the DA on creating a family justice center. Back to you. A lot of big investments, Olivia. Do we know when the affordable housing development is going to start? We don't know yet that affordable housing development. It's in Brighton, right next to First Presbyterian Church, and they're going to take their time to develop that when they feel like it's the right time. But eventually, they hope it will house over 100 affordable housing units. Michael? Wow, great investment, Olivia. We know you will stay on top of that story for us. Thank you so much. Olivia wants to know what is going on in Adams County so she can cover the stories that are important to you. You can reach out to her through our website, cbscolorado.com, or by calling our tips line, 303-863-TIP.